So here we have a, a web server running a mod CGI with a script CGI. As you can see, it's calling uh, Bimbash and it should echo hello. So if we try to browse to the script, here we go, there's a web server, 26.130. Um, it will echo hello back to us. Um, we're going to use another tool to just make the HTTP request. Again, submitting the request and we get hello back once again. Um, further to this, we can, um, within using a user agent field, we can append to the function definition our own script which will return um, the etc password file. You see um, here is uh, the injection attack where we're passing a uh, cat etc password to the function definition. Um, instead of uh, echoing the file back we can instead uh, ping our own device. So here we are, um, our own device. IP address uh, 26.20 so this time instead of echoing a file, we're going to try and uh, uh, ping our own device. So we set Wireshark off to sniff the traffic, the ICMP traffic, execute that command, um, and we see we've uh, successfully pinged our own device uh, ICMP request. So uh, proves once again that we can execute our own commands on the affected device. Um, further to that, uh, we might want to get a remote shell on the device, so we can use a tool called Xterm. Um, on the vulnerable web server. Um, we're going to try and connect back to our own machine, so we just start a listener on our own device. This is an X Windows listener, it will be listening on port TCP port 6001. Now we're ready, the listener's ready, and we're going to try and connect back from the vulnerable web server to our own device and get a shell. Um, there we go, made the request, and now we have a shell on the web server and we can uh, execute commands under the context of the Apache user. So we just do a quick IF config and we can see we are on the web server and now we have uh, an interactive shell with the privileges of the uh, web server.